Hello, good morning. It's a morning edition, a Saturday morning edition. I don't have my watch on. I don't know what time it is, but I know it's still morning. I think it's still morning. It was morning when I, <laughs> here's Lucy. Morning, I rode this morning. I'm a little confused. <laughs> I don't know what time it is, but I think it's a morning edition. It might not be uploaded until after morning is over, but we'll see. Maybe I'll do it right after this. I think it's around 10, between 10, 30 and 11. I don't know. Anyway. It's been a good morning, I guess. I was going to take the dogs for a walk, but then I looked to see what the weather was going to be like. I didn't realize it was supposed to rain again today and said 70% chance of rain around 10 o'clock. So I thought, well, I'm going to go on a row and we'll row this afternoon after it clears up, if it ever clears up. But um, so I did get my rowing in. And I had in my mind that I was supposed to row 40 minutes today, but I got on, I, I'm doing this program. At, if you complete this program in the month, they give $5 for every person who completes it to a certain charity. Last last month, it was the Houston Food Bank. I was I used to sort food there on occasion. So that meant something. I do it every month. I try to do whatever it is. Might as well do it. For a good cause, contribute to a good cause. This one, this one is one that's um, um, I don't remember the name of the organization, but it's it's planting trees in Appalachia, and this is where this is with the Ergata water rower rowing machine, and um, it's made of wood, and that's where they get their their wood for their um, rowing machines, and so they are. Um, replanting trees to replace the trees that they're cutting down for their water rowers. So, so that's what this month is. And I thought it was going to be a 40 minute row, but it was a 30 minute row. But I did row an extra 10 minutes just so I could do, I was, I was all ready to do it. <clears throat> so I did the 40 minute row, we did 40 minutes, an extra 10 minutes. And then tomorrow is a 40 minute row and Monday's a 45 minute row. I was thinking today was going to be 40 and then tomorrow 45 which would have been good because it's not a work day <laughs> well it is a work day but it's not i don't work after lunch so but anyway so now i'm gonna have to figure out how to fit that in on a monday night or a monday morning if i get up early anyway all is good here I got a new raised bed, I think I mentioned, for Stanley it's, or and for Lucy. It's a lot larger than the other one. It's a Stanley size bed. And I noticed that Stanley, when I sit on the couch on the love seat that Stanley likes to sleep on and likes to spend his time on, probably because he's trying to prove that he is really the, the alpha dog in the house, though so I am the alpha dog. All right, Lucy, you know it. <laughs> anyway, um, so when I, I just go sit on my, when he feels like there's not enough room, when I'm sitting on the love seat, he'll go on his new bed, which is one of the reasons I got it. I ordered it back before he started claiming the, the love seat. Anyway, he's not very happy because I'm petting him under his, under his chin right here. You can see, but I'm also scratching Lucy's back and he doesn't like it when I pay any attention at all to Lucy, does he, Stanley? Lucy, he doesn't, he doesn't like it when I pay attention to you, does he? No, but you like it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get these guys out. Oh, Stanley, don't punch me in the mouth. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no. Okay. Outside. Good boy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he does that on occasion. He likes to reach up he, oh, when the, on the little gate by the um, driveway when I come home. Sometimes he'll perch up there and he'll just reach out to me and he's punched me in the mouth a few times. <laughs> so I've got to get him, break him of that. Anyway, no, I don't care about any of this stuff I talk about, but I keep doing it. Here is our reading for today, Gospel of John, chapter 3, verses 3 through 5. Jesus answered Nicodemus, Very truly I tell you, no one, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. 
Nicodemus said to him, How can anyone be born after having grown old? Can, can one enter a second time into the mother's womb and, and be born? Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the Spirit. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. And now our reading today from E. Stanley Jones' book, Christian Maturity, Saturday of week 50. That means there's only two more weeks of this book after today. Maturity can begin late. We have looked at childhood and youth and noted that they are worth knowing. We must look at old age and see the glory of old age linked with God. Victor Hugo, when facing death, said, I feel I haven't expressed half that is within me. Creative still at the end. When some people in the home saw Grandma always reading her Bible, one of them remarked, Grandma must be cramming for her finals. Perhaps, but perhaps to her case, but perhaps to her case, let me, per, but perhaps to her case might be applied the remark of a woman as she passed me while I was reading my Bible in the Pullman. You must love, you must love the author. Grandma loved the author. Spellman, the great scientist, did not begin to study until he was between 50 and 60. Handel was 50 when he published his first great work. Faber, poet of science, was 80 when France discovered him. Santa Monica, California, has observed since 1936 what is known as Mother Stevens Day. Mrs. Stevens was just recovering from a se severe illness at the age of 67, and she promised her husband she would take no further part in public life. But for the next 31 years, until she died at the age of 98, she was one of the most vital factors in the social and spiritual develop, development of Santa Monica. She organized the Santa Monica Women's Club, the Red Cross Chapter, the Council of Social Charities, Community Service in Santa Monica, Community Chess, Santa Monica, Welfare and Industrial Thrift Shop, and Santa Monica Mental Hygiene Society was president of the Board of Education, was a member of the advisory board of the Bank of America. When she was 96, she sent word to the Ministerial Association. My family say I should give up my work. Should I live to be an old lady, perhaps I will stop. Not when I'm only 96. Age is just a number. Here is our prayer for today. Father, you can put within me the deathless spirit of creativity. Live within me, create through me, help me to be alive to my fingertips with you. And may death be beaten back by creative life within me. In Jesus' name, amen. Our affirmation for the day. I am as old, not as my arteries, but as my attitudes. Jesus is Lord.